Hey everyone, this is our first uh, reaction video. So we promised we'd be doing more One Piece content and so far we've really focused on the TCG. Um, but we're gonna start reacting to One Piece. Uh, I, there's a lot of reaction channels I like to follow, um, like Boom and Double Dragon Brothers and RTTV. I really like those guys. So, you know, I thought, why not, why not us two? <laughs> might be fun. So what better time to start than the beginning of the final saga? <laughs> so uh, Time for Egghead. That's right, time for Egghead. So we've uh, obviously seen the anime up to this point, so we're not going to pretend like we haven't. Um, so we're going to start fresh from right here. And uh, looking forward to it. We, we are anime only. Yeah, uh, so no manga spoilers, guys. Yeah, the internet makes it very, very hard not to be spoiled. So we know a little snippets here and there, but but we're trying to avoid spoilers yeah. as much as humanly possible. So <laughs> it's hard, but we've done okay. <laughs> yeah. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I believe this is episode 1089. Jeez, has it been that many already? Ah. It's a lot. The one thing I'm a little worried about is I heard the art style is shifting pretty dramatically, so we'll see how that goes. I really like the Wano art style. It was so beautiful. Every episode was like a movie. Yes. God, I love so, Wano's art. Yeah. So, all right. Well, with that, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, boy. That's... That's a different art style, all right. Yeah. It's just the opening. It's just the opening. That guy looks straight out of Mega Man. <laughs> Look at him. He's like... Dr. Wily? Dr. Wily. Yeah. Oh. Seraphim. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I really like that. It's like going through the arrows in like a circular pattern. Lucci. Whoa. I kind of want to frame by frame that, but I also don't. Because we'll probably learn all the fights that are coming. People looking beat up. Yeah. Ooh, it's definitely softer. Yeah. Marshmallowy. Marshmallowy. That's, <laughs> that's a good word for it. It's so good to have Papa Fish around. Papa Fish! Official helmsman. I wish they would tell us what it is. Yes, I want to know what this dream is. My speculation is we won't know what the dream is until the final dialogue yeah. of the last episode. Yeah, they're going to keep it from us. I know it. Like the narrator will be exiting us through everything, we'll be zooming out, and then it'll show it. Yeah, because it's just that easy. <laughs> Good plan, Frankie. Good plan. Just find it. Just find it. Just cool. do it. Who wants you to hear? Thing. See, the real lore we need to know about is how do these snails work? Mystery. Mystery snail. This guy's been putting in work. Yeah, he has. <laughs> Getting that news out. He got Luffy named Emperor before he was an Emperor. <laughs> I don't believe that for a second. Sabo would never. My theory is that he's not dead. They're faking it for some reason. Had to hide him away or something? Yeah, yeah, to protect him. But why? That I have no theories on. <laughs> Welcome home. ルシア王国に革命軍の幹部が上陸していたとの情報もありました。サボが潜伏するには打ってつけの場所です。Who 
No way. No way. No way. Ha, I told you. They should have just assumed he didn't do it. Instead of just like, did you really kill a guy? I want to know who that guy is. Yeah. This is like our Texas storms just rolling in all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. It's a great day. It's a great day. Oh, it's the end of the world. <laughs> I thought Dragon was the one with like a storm fruit. Yeah, then he did that um, Love Town, right? Yeah, he saved Luffy with lightning. Uh. <laughs> Politicians. Come here. What is going on? Of your pay grade, sir. <laughs> oh, he's the king guy. There's always a king. Something is coming. I'm so trained, I almost feel like Kaido is about to come through those clouds. This actually reminds me a bit of like when NL would use his yeah. god ray thing. Hitting people from upper yard. Yeah, I forget what they called it, but like the punishment ray thing. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, this is worse than a buster call. Dang. And what's worse, like, the scary thing is he, he's doing it from, like, a completely different Yeah, he's, like, nowhere near the there. We thought Shanks' like, Wi-Fi hockey was crazy. This guy's using his power from, like, a world away. Freaking hole in the ocean. A few days later. Okay. Wow. That was crazy. Yeah. Just when you think Luffy can just defeat anybody now. Meanwhile, Luffy's having the time of his life. Yeah. <laughs> How does he stay so balanced on that? <laughs> that would be me. He's cold. That's you during summer. It's not even during a blizzard in, on the ocean. <laughs> Zoro just chilling. Actually, he's not chilling. Everyone oh, else is. That's true. I'm actually surprised he wasn't sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> we may not have the three rookies, super rookies anymore, but at least we got Sanji and Zoro back. <laughs> Papa Fish expertly guiding that ship. Ah, oh, this art style is going to take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Not a fan. It reminds me of a slightly more beautiful pain episode where he goes all warbly every time he moves. Yeah. Not as bad as that. Meanwhile, Robin just staying out of it all. Wow. Way to help out. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> but don't don't wear that hat, man. It's windy outside and you're very small. What the hell is that? An ocean lollipop? It's like ocean light bulb or something. Warm eddy. What's an Eddie? I don't know who Eddie is. Wow. <laughs> 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 
Cafro. Really? Can we? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good, good old Zoro. If there's a problem, I will cut it. I mean, if it works, it works. You're going to be in a great mood all day because you're going to be slapping your troubles away with a slap chop. Now, look, here's a potato. One slap, you got big chunks for stews. Who slaps? Home fries in a second. That's a cool shot. Sanji unimpressed. Okay. Come on. Don't family guy it. <laughs> oh, dang. That reminds me of the uh, the Smash Brothers Sephiroth trailer. You're late to the party, Chopper. Chopper alone. Oh. Chopper drink is red bull. Big. Yeah. Come on. Robin's like, oh, I guess you're dying. <laughs> oh, that's... That's Bonnie. That's Bonnie. As a child. Well, I guess you're right. It's a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> she just won't always be a little girl. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> For the moment. <laughs> Wacky waving inflatable arm too, man. <laughs> In unison, just her. It's Momu. Laboon? <laughs> nope, totally Momu. Uh oh. Usopp's on the run. It might be a fluffy bunny. Where are you gonna run to, bro? The other side of the ship? Right? <laughs> oh boy. Arlong's revenge. Oh, we get an outro. Nice. Again. It's a thing now. I already missed the other one though. We barely got it. It, it had a really song. good song too. Like Aww. Hmm. Oh, don't do this to me, One Piece. You're making, you're reminding me that this is like the beginning of the end. Oh. I hope it's still a little ways off. I don't know what I would do. Yeah. It's gonna be weird, because it's gonna be like, oh my god, we finally know everything. This is amazing. Wait, no! <laughs> Go back to us not knowing anything. That's a nice shot. Oh boy. Oh no. I hate these. Jeepy! Number two. That's a very good question. That you're not going to answer, of course. Of course, the only information worth having right here. Uncertain on the art style. Uh, I don't... I can tolerate it, but I don't think it's anywhere near the caliber that Wano was. Some of you probably really love it, but I... Yeah. It's I, just not an art style I'm a huge fan of. It'll probably grow with. on us over time, but... Yeah, it will. It always does. I, I just hope that some of the future episodes are a little more smooth. Yeah. I think it's just that it's it's such a harsh change all of a sudden that it, it's like shock. Yeah. I just didn't like it when the shots were like this. You know, like normally it'd be like, you know, doing the wind up. Mm -hmm. But this was like, you know, yeah, like really was... framey. And when there's Everything, so much going on. All the movement on, in general is very like, it's either jerky or flappy or like, it's just harder to follow. Yeah, it actually made it harder to track what was actually happening. Yeah. Not as bad as like the first episode of when Luffy went gear fifth and he was like pulling Ooh, that was all over the and place. stuff. Like, that was all over the place. That, that took a few rewatches to understand what the heck was actually happening and all those things. But yeah. So it's not that bad, but. I'm glad we'll see Bonnie again. She's kind of it just disappeared. It has been forever since we have seen Bonnie. My goodness. 
I, I always wondered, like, they focused on Bonnie back at Saboti, and I thought she was going to be, like, a more prominent character, and then we just didn't see her. But yeah. in traditional Oda style, someone from 400 episodes ago is coming back. <laughs> I want to see more about her fruit. Yeah, what is it? What, it? what the heck is her it power? It seems like she can, like, age and de-age herself. Yeah. And she, maybe it, like, takes a lot of caloric intake, which is why she's always eating. Like, yeah, she can, she can out-eat Luffy. Yeah, she maybe. can rival Luffy in eating. Like, she's constantly got something in her, you know, eating something, you know? Yeah. So. Maybe, maybe she turns back into a kid when she hasn't eaten enough? I don't know. Maybe. The, the thing I'm curious about is, how does that make her like a super rookie? I don't know if she's considered a super rookie, but I don't think she like she's how does just she part of the worst generation? Yeah, but she's how does she have super... such a big bounty if that's her whole power? It's just I can what be is an her old bounty? huh? What is her bounty? It said three twenty, I think. Three twenty? Yeah. Dang. So like if she can just become an old lady or a, a young kid yeah. at will, depending on how much she's eaten or whatever. That doesn't what is, seem like that great a power. I, I'll be curious to see how Oda spins that to be, like, useful. Because mm. <laughs> to me, that's... To me, like, Mr. Five with his booger bombs Ugh. was more useful than that power seems. At least on the I surface. I mean, on we the haven't... surface, maybe. But maybe she is kind of like a spy or something. And it's easy for her to get into yeah. different places because she changes her appearance yeah if she if she's like a druid with wild shape <laughs> where she can just like blend into the environment she's good at like data gathering and she's more of like a robin than a luffy yeah or a kid or a yeah mop. that's how that, i, I mean cool. i don't know that's how i would use it but maybe she uses it differently yeah hmm. i just really hope that egghead is not yet another big bad pirate group comes in and takes over from like the ruling people of that country. Yeah, we've done that we've with seen that too many and times. Now. Crocodile and let's see. Dopey. Huh? Dopey. Well yeah, I was thinking of in between there. Mm. Thriller Bark was its own thing. He didn't yeah, take anything wasn't. over. So yeah, then Dopey. Sky then Jack and Kaido. And Skypia. Oh, yep, I know. I hope that Dr. Wiley looking dude is Vegapunk and we're finally gonna learn about all that tech. Yeah. And I wanna know what kind of what kind of guy is Vegapunk? Is he more like the Oppenheimer of regretting his creations, uh, you know, understanding that they're being used as weapons and not okay with it? Or is he more like Frankenstein and it's alive and yeah. just doing uh, mad scientist-y things for the sake of doing them and being proud and happy at anything and everything he accomplishes. Yeah. I, that That is my big question. It'll be funny if it's that, because they chose an art style that's like straight out of like a Katy Perry music video. <laughs> as far as like how candy, vibrant and colorful it is. Yeah. So if he's like the mad scientist and it's like the doom and gloom kind of guy, it'd be hilarious to see that in his art style. <laughs> But it, he looks more silly than sinister, but yeah, that could just be the opening. I don't know. Well, I think that's enough for this episode. So, uh, yeah. We are going to make this a thing. We're going to watch it weekly. We hope that everyone will enjoy joining us and having a good watch with us. And uh, if you like this, we may go back and react to a fan project called One Pace which cuts out all the fluff and makes the anime match up with the manga so it goes by a lot faster. Yep. Um, but it would still be a lot of content. And we've watched the anime three times, but we love it every time. And every time it seems like we find a, li a little detail that we didn't see before. So you're welcome to join us on that adventure if you like this. But otherwise, we'll be seeing you weekly, I hope. Yeah, and we're probably going to go back and watch uh, the movies. Yeah. We I, haven't seen most of the movies. I have a very love-hate relationship with movies. I grew up on Naruto <laughs> and Bleach. And those are some of the most god-awful <laughs> movies I've seen. And I'm sure some people enjoy them, and that's fine. But to me, you know, after watching the anime, I'm like, this is peak fiction. And then I watch the movies, and I'm like, this is a really long, 
beautifully artistically drawn filler, filler. episode. Yeah. So but I, I've Luke caved. Is getting better. Yeah, I've caved a bit on One Piece. We did. We actually went and saw Stampede in the theaters. Yeah. And I actually thought that was pretty good. I it felt it. like a filler episode, but it, it was very enjoyable to me. So yeah. that was fine. Um, and we've I, also seen Film Red now because yeah. we wanted to see what all the hype was about. I didn't enjoy that one as much. The I, songs were pretty decent. The songs were fine, but I can't stand Uta as a character. Yeah. She annoyed the crap out of me from start to finish. So, and especially with the way the movie resolves, I'm like, this <laughs> makes no sense at all. So, uh, one one for two on One Piece, but uh, we're gonna go back and you know watch all the movies because we love One Piece. So. It, it seems only natural to actually watch them finally. So, yeah. And we're definitely going to be reacting to the One Piece when it comes out. Um, and future seasons of the live action and all that. So, Yeah. Next live like... action season starts in August, in case you're curious. Looking and forward to that. Know. I'm scared of what Chopper's going to look like, though. I know. I hope it's more new Sonic versus Sanic the way they <laughs> released with the original trailer with the human teeth and stuff. Oh ah! god, that scary, scary Yeah, let's, let's not go down that path. Yeah, look, he needs to be cute and lovable because that's our little chopper. Yeah. He's please. our precious cute baby. And please be good. stay that way. Yeah. But so it is a it is a good time to be a One Piece fan. It is. It feels it's everywhere. like the world is finally catching on to how awesome this show is and how awesome the manga is. And I look forward to all the iterations of it. I, I'm still shocked that Netflix didn't screw it up. Um, that they they stuck fairly close to the source material and the stuff that they did change were not completely off base. I think there was a few things that I'm like. Roll my eyes and Netflixism, but otherwise, not too bad. I really enjoyed it. And I actually believed the characters as their portrayed characters. So, pretty happy. So, yeah, that's it. We'll stop rambling and we'll talk to you next time. I've been Mike. Tasha. And uh, we are Billy and Barry. See you next time. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff if you enjoyed us. And we'll Bye.